Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So the topic of today's video is top 15 Arduino project ideas for beginners. So without any further ado, let's get started. Before laying your hands on the Arduino, there are some basic stuff that you need to have understanding with, and there are some common things that you will surely be using in any of the Arduino-based project. For example, you might see LED, RGB LED, temperature sensors, buzzers, LCD screens, capacitors, resistors, motors, etc. In almost every Arduino-based project. you might be using some of these components so i'm sure you have basic understanding about how these things works with arduino and now let's explore our list of projects number 1 test arduino we will start with the basic project in order for you to have better understanding about how arduino works and eventually you can move on to the complex project So this project is the most basic and the simplest one you can create on the Arduino. In this project, we will test our Arduino by blinking a LED that we will connect directly to the board. For this project, you will need Arduino Uno, USB A to B cable, LED 5 mm and 220 ohm resistor. This is how the project diagram will look like. to increase the complexity or you can say the interest in this project you can work on finding out the way that how you can increase the number of led in the circuit and try to turn them on and off all at once number 2 blink an led this project is bit similar to the previous one but the difference is we will be building this project on the breadboard so basically at the end of this project the led will turn on for a second and then it will turn off in a loop we will need arduino uno usb a to b cable breadboard half size led of 5 mm 220 ohm resistor and a jumper wire for this project and this is how the diagram looks like here you can see we have arduino and breadboard attached with each other and we have resistor and led attached into our breadboard so as you can see from the diagram we just have added the breadboard in our circuit and is directly connected to the arduino and with the help of our arduino we will control our breadboard and the led eventually number 3 potentiometer in this project we will control the resistance of an led by turning the knob we can increase and decrease the frequency of the led blinking for this project we will need one arduino uno usb a to b cable breadboard of half size led of 5 mm 220 ohm resistor potentiometer of 10k jumper wires and this is how the diagram of this project looks like as you can see we have our potentiometer here this is a really simple project to start with and you will notice that as we will move with our list our project will get more and more complex number 4 temperature sensor in this project we will measure the temperature of the surrounding world and we will display this on the serial monitor of the arduino temperature sensor is the key component in this project the other parts that are needed in this project are arduino uno usb a to b cable breadboard of half size temperature sensor jumper wires and this is the diagram of this project number 5 arduino based alarm system a simple alarm system uses the monitor sensor to detect the movement and upon detection of some movement leds will start to flash and a high pitched warning alarm or tone will emit it is not a proper home protection tool but for the experimental purpose and for learning it's a great project for this project you will need one ultrasonic ping sensor piezo buzzer led strip light and obviously the arduino ide for coding of your project number 6 
color detector. A color sensor is a device that is used for giving the accurate color for the object by sensing or detecting its color. A color sensor emits light using external sources like an array of white LEDs to analyze the object's refracted light, thereby determining its color. This project is used in a lot of daily life areas like robotics, medical sciences, and many other fields. Things you might need for this project are Arduino Mega, TCS3200, RGB plus clear color sensor module, breadboard, power supply, and connecting wires. Number 7. Heartbeat Sensor Electrocardiography is still one of the most popular and precise way to measure the heart rate in the medical field. As we have advancement in the technology, we can use the heartbeat sensor to measure the heartbeat of a person. This sensor can be installed in the smartphone, smartwatches, and chest strips. And from all these devices, we can get the heartbeat rate. The components you will be needing for this project will be Arduino Uno, 16 by 2 LCD display, 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, 320 ohm resistor, push button, heartbeat sensor module with probe, mini breadboard, and some connecting wires. Number 8. Voice Activated Home Automation System The introduction of artificial intelligence and natural language processing in home automation got a lot of popularity. It has reduced the human effort to control household appliances like lights, TV, fans, air conditioners, etc. We can integrate it with the security design automation systems like alarms, security cameras, emergency system, etc. Apart from voice activated automation, devices can also be controlled by Bluetooth, internet, remote, and other tools and technologies. The component that you might require for this project will be Arduino Uno 1, HC5 Bluetooth module, smartphone or tablet, 2N. Double two double two NPN transistor, 12 volt relay, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1N4007 PN junction diode, power supply, connecting wires, breadboard, and apps for transmitting voice to Bluetooth. You can change these components as per your liking, but make sure that you are using the right one and those one which are compatible for the project. Number nine. Basic Earthquake Detector Normally, we depend on the government officials to announce or inform about the earthquake stats. Even for the warning, we have to rely on government officials and departments. But with Arduino boards, we can simply design and build a basic earthquake detector and we can have transparent results for ourselves without depending on any of the authorities. You will need an accelerometer for this project, and there are some purposes of accelerometer. It determines an angle in particular axis, like it can be x, y, or z axis, and it is also used to determine the acceleration change in an axis. Apart from that, you will need three resistors of 690 ohm, one green LED, one yellow LED, and one red LED. So give a go to this project and you will learn a lot of new things. Number 10. Audio Spectrum with Visualization Now let's have something cool and funky. This project idea is based on audio spectrum. For this, you will need an Arduino Nano R3 and an LED display as primary materials to get started with. You can tweak the display as required. You can connect it with your headphone output or simply a line out amplifier. This project is for making a 32-band audio frequency spectrum analyzer and we will do this with the help of Arduino. Expected audience of this project can be anyone with audio enthusiasm, student or a beginner who has basic understanding of electronic components, Arduino and C language programmer. Components used for this project are low-cost items and are easy to assemble. And at the end of this project, you will have different spikes on the display board on the detection of audio in the system. There are components that you will be needing for this project and these will be 
10 kilo ohm resistor and a resistor of 4.75 kilo ohm capacitor with a resistance of 100k ohm 32 by 8 LED display or any of your choice and a spark fun push button switch number 11 ultrasonic digital ruler we have seen that distance measurement of an object in the path of a thing like vehicle or any moving object used on a very large scale. We have also seen it in the robotics as well. There are a lot of methods available for the distance measurement, but using the ultrasonic sensor is the cheapest one. You will need a HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor with a tiny 85 microcontroller IC and along with that you will also need OLED display module to build a digital ultrasonic ruler. The other things that you will be needing for this project will be 3 resistors of 10 kilo ohm, capacitors and a 9 volt battery. This circuit is designed on the PCB board and it will be controlled with the Arduino. And you can design your own PCB board by using any PCB software of your choice. Number 12. Long Range Walkie Talkie as we are living in the era of 5G and 5G enabled devices, but still the old technologies like the walkie talkie systems and RF communication system are still very prominent in those scenarios where a remote, short distance, cheap and low cost communication is required. We can make a walkie talkie with the help of Arduino. The main component for this project will be an RF24L01 RF module and Arduino Uno, which is the brain or processor. For this project, the NRF24L01 RF module will be used because it has many advantages over a digital communication medium, as it has 2.4 GHz very high frequency ISM band and the data rate can be 250 KB per second and it can go up to 2 MB per second. It also has the possible 125 channel in between 1 megahertz spacing so the module can use 125 different channels which makes it possible to have a network of 125 independently working modems in one place the things which you might need for this project are arduino uno or any version of arduino audio amplifier microphone circuit you can make it yourself or purchase a sound sensor module DC to DC step up booster module, 3.3 volts AMS 1117 voltage regular module, power indicator LEDs, 470 ohm resistors, and 4 inch loudspeakers. Other thing includes push button, 104 PF for making of ETT button, 100 NF capacitor for NRF24 LO1, 1K resistance for PTT button, two sets of Leon battery. Leon battery charging and battery protection module, some jumper wire, male header pin, dotted Vero board. So these are things which you might need for the completion of this project. It seems a bit difficult, but obviously it has its outcomes as it has its complexity. Number 13. Arduino Music Instrument how cool it would be to have your own music instrument and not only an ordinary music instrument but the instrument that you can control with your hand gestures well this is possible with the help of arduino you can use the gesture control and hand waves to control your arduino uno r3 other than the arduino you will need a board called flick it is a PCB board and it will detect your hand gestures from a range up to 15 cm in the 3D space. For example, if you draw a circle in the air, swipe your hand, move your fingers, this board will track everything. With Flickboard, you have endless possibilities. You can control your TV, music system, computer and many more gadgets with the flick of your wrist. The other components that you will be needing to complete this project are resistor of 4.75 kilo ohms USB cable type A to B, click, large, standalone 3T tracking and gesture breakout, 3.5 mm jack to 3 RCA adapter cable, 
mono enclosed speaker 2 watts 6 ohm arduino ide software number 14 universal remote controller we all have multiple remotes in our house as we have one remote for each device what if we could make a universal remote and with the help of that remote we can control all the things which were getting controlled by a separate remote well we can do so with the help of arduino we will need different components for this project like arduino uno groove base shield v2 groove infrared receiver groove infrared emitter groove button groove 16 by 2 lcd keys ir remote control this project will help you to convert an ordinary keys infrared remote into a programmable universal remote if you press a single button on the keys it will be converted into precise sony ir signal combination using the arduino uno and the assortment of seed studio groove modules we can assign single combination from more than one remote if desired an example combination could be to turn on tv and then switch channels turn on tv sound system and air conditioner turn up the volume three time so these are different combination which you can set or you can perform with the help of this project there are endless possibilities in this project so do explore it and work as per your liking now the last one is car control using arduino this one is my favorite one because i have implemented this one in practical in this project you will be able to control your car you can start your car stop your car open the doors close the doors turn on the ac and other components of the car and not only that you can have all the readings from your car on your smartphone but from all the projects that i have discussed till now this one will be the most difficult one but obviously it covers a lot more functionality than all previous one this project is combination of different tools and technology you will be needing arduino gsm module obd device smartphone leds gsm module will be used for the communication between your smartphone and your arduino obd device will be installed into your car and from that device you will get different reading from your ufi engine with the help of bluetooth and then you will use different other components and different other tools and technologies for this project so with that we got to the end of today's video and i hope now you have better understanding and a lot of options that from where you should get going with the arduino projects and i hope you must have learned a lot of new things if that is the case please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon along with it if you have something to ask please leave a comment below we will get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care